something I want to show you. This better be good. Oh, it is. Roll it, Sydney. Those toes look familiar. Those thighs look familiar. Mm -hmm. That pair of... Oh, my God, it's Norma St. Clair. Her blue period. Great. Her first movie in four years that somebody might actually watch and we can't show. Leo, this could kill us. Then I want you to buy up every copy of this film and destroy them. You hear? Destroy them. First, let's see how it ends. You bet. from Hollywood and Divine with today's scoop du jour. I am up in arms, up in arms over the titillation that is tarnishing my dear Tinseltown. I just heard that a certain male juvenile star who isn't even shaving yet that has been seeing Miss Norma Shearer and I am seeing red. And Mary Astor, Mary Astor says she's in bed by nine. She doesn't even get home till midnight and there's a lot to do before going to bed, isn't there? And it's not just the movie stars. The big brains at Lowe's Theatre advertised a double feature by showing twin babies, but naked. Well, after a public protest led by yours truly, a good judge in Brooklyn ordered that all posters have paper panties added to the baby's bottoms. No wonder all of America is raising their voices one against the smut and sordidness, the sin and the scandal. Sin and scandal? Ladies of the Los Angeles Liberty League, we need someone to go undercover, to strap on the galoshes and slosh through the sewers the Hollywood studios have become, and bring back the dirt, so that we might shut them down forever. Any volunteers, girls? Come on, girls! Must everything fall to me? If your name's Fat Lady Number Two. My name is Mrs. Miriam Bowser. That's what I said, Fat Lady Number Two. Geez, you want to be an extra? Clean out your ears. Now get ready for your close up. Camera rolling. Hit hard! Warren, you can't mean it. We're supposed to tie the knot in November. Lucy, football is my life. The school coach have got to take the team to the finals. Those young men depend on me. Cut! So, as I was saying, I found a sensational powder blue chiffon that I think would look divine in your dressing room with the pink and the boudoir pillows. That bitch, Mr. Roscoe, said it would cost two fifty a yard, but I got the old girl down to two. Quiet on the set! Marker. Action! Lucy, football is my life. Norma, I was uh, screening one of your movies the other day. I must say, you never looked more radiant. Really? Which one? Yeah. Let me guess. Bride of the Sands? Let Tomorrow Shine? Madam Overy? Behind you. Oh. oh. Sorry. I was young. I was hungry. I was paid. Oh, God, I'll be ruined. Uh, give us a moment, guys. Sure thing, Mr. Sweeney. Yeah. Relax. There's only one copy remaining, and you're in luck. I have it. Let me see. I've made a pornographic movie, and Jack Sweeney has the only remaining copy. Yes, this is my lucky day. <laughs> What'll it cost me? A revival. Oh, God, no. I mean, no, thank you. Uh, but I could use your help. Yes. I've gotten word that one of these uh, morality groups has put a snoop on this new picture we're making. I need you to use those skills that made you a, a great actress to pretend to be friendly and... and Likeable. If you can find out who it is, I'll give you the film. All right, Sweeney. You've got me over a barrel. Don't say anything. Oh, 
take me to the derby. Sure. I need a high ball. Yeah. Whatever you say, ma'am. There you go. Go get him. Thanks. Yes. Hey, how's the picture going? Oh, this has got to be the worst thing I've ever been in. Then you haven't been in Ty Powers' apartment. Everything clashes. <laughs> and you are forgetting our first picture together. Camels in Brooklyn. A monk broke a 30-year vow of silence to boo at the screen. Excuse me. Ooh, fill that up and send it over to my dressing room. Tell me. Wasn't Cooker's pool party great last Sunday? Well, I was only there for a few minutes. Mary, would you mind tossing some Texas dirt on this for me? I've got some Texas dirt for you. Five of those boys at the Alamo were run through with more than their bayonets. <laughs> Danny, Rachel, we need you on set. Last looks. Gorgeous, but aging. Hmm. Thanks. How come you get invited to Cooker's parties and I don't? I'll tell you the lucky one. Thanks, love. That'll do. Excuse me, I'm Norma St. Clair. I don't believe we've met. And I'm very concerned about all the moral decay in Hollywood, aren't you? No. Mm -hmm. Where's my copy? Uh, I've never even played a waitress. Hello. What are you all talking about? Moral decay? Bon appetit. Hey, excuse me. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Did you need to mop up? Oh, I'm not a janitor. I'm an extra playing a janitor. Nah. Oh, uh, um, I heard you speaking of moral decay. Is that something that interests you? Can you keep a secret? Letitia wonders. Danny Matthews is over at Silver Screen Pictures, starring in Pigskin Blues as the coach who's engaged to the girl next door. But off screen, this confirmed bachelor prefers a night out with the boys to a night in with Miss Wright. Will there ever be wedding bells for Danny Matthews, or is it true what they say? That boys will be boys. You want me to do what? To get married. <laughs> is that asking too much? Depends on the groom. Letitia is making noise about going public with this. Let's stop pussyfooting around here. This pansy thing. Leo, what you're asking me to do is insulting and demeaning. For the first couple of years. After that, you get used to it. <laughs> you are a romantic leading man in the pictures. If the public finds out you're interested in other romantic leading men, your box office receipts will go down faster than your trousers. But if you run off and get married, it'll put a stop to all these rumors. They aren't rumors, they're true. <laughs> We're in the pictures. True is not important. Look, Danny, we at Silver Screen Pictures are mainly concerned with your emotional well-being. Mm. Are you seeing a psychiatrist? I'm seeing a lieutenant in the Navy. Cut the cracks, kid. If you don't agree to tie the knot, I'm gonna have to tear up your contract. Who has time for a dalliance when there's so much art to be made? Oh, who was that, Danny Matthews? Yes. Oh. I've heard, oh, that he works in children's hospitals on his day off. Yes, I'm surprised you know that. He's such a private person. Oh, who's that? Oh, now that is the Reverend Sweeney, chaplain to the stars. Oh! You can't get married. The fleet's in this weekend. Yes, everything's a joke. Now suddenly it's turned serious. You've got no one to blame but yourself. Shame on Danny. He's being honest with the world. Oh, what a terrible person he is. Danny, you're an accident waiting to happen. The way you parade your proclivities, I mean, my God, Helen Keller could tell you're a poof. The reason they called it a private life. And there's a difference between a private life and a secret life. I haven't got a secret life. Besides which, we're not talking about me. Swell. Let's talk about Leo Silver. He's your friend. Can't you go to him and see if there's some other way we can handle this? I thought this might be coming. No, Danny, I can't. Because you're afraid Leo will find out about you. 
I don't care who knows about me, but unlike you, I don't go around announcing it. You don't even go around whispering it. Leo doesn't know, Mary doesn't know, and these are your close friends? No. Sorry. You're on your own with this one. I'm late for the set. I've had it with the both of you. But I love you. No, I love you. I love this. And cut. God, I hate this. <laughs> Rachel, mm. do you have dinner with me on Friday night? Well, bud, nip. Listen, Victor, I have a strict policy. I never date men who are prettier than me. Oh, come on, Rachel. I'll look ugly. I promise. No, okay, 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 Friday. Take a walk with me. I need to tell you a couple things. What is it? Well, the chintz will be here on Thursday. Carlos the carpenter is coming tomorrow. And, oh, yeah, I'm getting married. You're kidding. No, Thursday was the earliest I could get the chance. No, 86 jokes. What's going on? Oh, Leo says I gotta get married or I'm out. You're not gonna do it, are you? Depends. You know how we're always joking how we'd make the perfect pair? We both like the same music, the same food. We both like Victor. Are you proposing to me? Honey, I get down on my knees, but in my culture, Will you marry me, Rachel? Not for all time, just till the end of my contract. Two years with an option. All marriages should be like that. Wow. Think of the fortune you'd save on decorating. Um, I mean, you do like being with me. I do. That's what I want to hear you say. I do, only in front of a judge. I will. I'm getting married. Oh, I can't wait to register. <laughs> this is no laughing matter. <laughs> no, wait. This is entirely too much of a laughing matter. Keep quiet. You're sitting pretty. Tune in every Monday night with Renee Zellweger for your favorite funny films on AMC. Bingo. Sorry. Can we just go again, please? Mommy! Come for the classics and stay for the slapstick. <laughs> Don't miss Madcap Mondays every week at 8 on AMC. Legions of fans have sung along with the Rocky Horror Picture Show for 25 years and counting. Doing the Rocky Horror Show for me was a major attempt at freeing myself. But at its release, the studio labeled it an unmarketable disaster. Find out how this surefire flop became a pop culture phenomenon. Get the backstory on the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's the stories you've never heard about the movies you can't forget. Watch Backstory, the AMC original series, Monday at 10 p.m. Eastern. I can kill two hearts with one stone. I gotta cancel our dates this weekend. You're going out with her? You're going out with her? Neither one of you is going out with her. Something came up. I'm getting married this weekend. What about next weekend? I'm marrying Danny Matthews. <laughs> I'm on the level. I don't get it. And Danny doesn't want it. All I came here to do was break a date. If you have a problem with me marrying Danny, then you have a problem. I don't. And we're going to Tijuana to get married, and then we're going to drive down to Rosarita Beach and have lobster, and you're shaking your head because you don't think for one minute this is a good idea, do you? No, no, no. I think it's a, a great idea. It's a wonderful idea. It sounds like a perfect marriage. Your fiancé has no interest in women. We're here. He won't cheat on me. He won't give you children. He won't give me stretch marks. And after your three failed marriages, you can rely on this phony marriage so you don't have to deal with the possibility of having your heart broken again. But he's my best friend. I got a schnauzer at home that's my best friend. We ain't running off to Tijuana to get hitched. But you did this for Fabian, wouldn't you? Fabian? Why would I? Oh, do you think? I think I've said too much. You should talk to him about that. Good night, love. Safe home. Mm. You want to hit McCloskey's for a beer? Oh, I can't. I'm having dinner with Olivia in personnel. Oh. A date? Mary Parker, I think you're jealous. No, I'm not jealous. I'm confused. About what? 
Fabian, I'm no dummy. I work in makeup, next door to hair, across the hall from wardrobe. Some of my best girlfriends are guys. Huh? I see. How can I explain this? I'm a designer. Some of the time I design dresses, but sometimes I like to design a pair of trousers as well. I had an uncle like you. He left my aunt to design trousers full time. So you understand? You know what I don't understand is why you didn't tell me. We're such good friends, we don't keep secrets. You never tell me the truth about who Juden's father was. I was so ashamed of that. Oh, is that what's going on for you? Switch. Sweeney. Mr. Sweeney, it's Officer Stetson down at the station. Yes, Officer. Danny Matthews tried to pick up an undercover cop. He what? I'm sorry to have to tell you this, sir. With who? It's the truth, sir. What do you want me to do? I'll, I'll, I'll be right to down. Thank you. propositioned a plain clothes policeman. I couldn't find one in uniform. The night before your wedding. It was my bachelor party. In Griffith Park. Leo, 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 look, I'll be what you want me to be on screen. I I'll play any character you say, but off screen is my business. Well, last night it became my business because it wasn't just some Joe Schmo they arrested. It was Danny Matthews, star of Silver Screen Pay, excuse me, former star. You're firing me? On what grounds? When you came here, you signed a morals clause. But nobody believes in that, Leo. I do! We have an obligation to the American public to give them stars who appear to embody wholesome family morals. Morals? Morals? Take a look around you, Leo. You've got alcoholics, drug fiends, adulterers. I mean, hell, this is Sodom and Gomorrah with Klieg lights. One of your best friends is gay as a goose, and you don't even know it. I doubt that very much. Oh, really? You should take another look in the wardrobe. You look like you've just lost your best friend. I'm about to. You. What's the matter, baby? I know that you need me. And I love you. And you are my best friend. But I cannot. Marry you. I am so sorry. I've been up all night talking and pacing and eating coffee ice cream. I gotta hold out for the real thing. A husband and babies and the whole package. I am so sorry you let me down. I guess you must be the last person to know. Oh, well, let's just say I'm one of the few grooms to leave his rehearsal dinner in search of the best man. Wedding's off. Huh? Leo's dropping my contract. And frankly, I'm relieved. Relieved? You know, it was gonna happen sooner or later. I'm just glad it's happening sooner rather than later. Well, if you want, I can say something to Leo. No, 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 no. I... Oh, sweetie. There have been too many things said by too many people already. Mainly by me. In fact, in the heat of anger, I said something about someone I shouldn't have. I gotta go let him know. Yeah. I said some things to him. You still owe me a lobster. Oh, don't I know. Good. Okay, two stones, one bird. You, dinner, Friday night. You, Saturday. I don't want to hear any more lip about it from either of you. I guess we're off for Saturday, huh? <laughs>
For movie lovers who want the big picture on the big screen, American Movie Classics brings you the stories behind the movies. Hollywood Lives and Legends goes inside America's favorite pastime every weeknight with an acclaimed AMC original. He carried a kind of animal quality with him. Get up close and personal with the movies on Hollywood Lives and Legends, weeknights at 7, only on AMC. Brought to you by Pfizer, where life is our life's work. It's been called one of the toughest jobs in movies. That is the point of illusion. She's been called one of the best in the biz. This is good, but it's not strong enough. See the AMC original that takes you behind the scenes with a trendsetter to the stars, Ellen Mirajnik. It has to be three different versions of the same girl. She's very, very talented. Costume Design, a special edition of Hollywood Fashion Machine, Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern, only on AMC. You have to love movies. What did you want to talk to me about? Hem lines? Headlines. Here, yeah, I need to tell you something. I think one of your little friends already told me. I don't need to know everything. My head is going to explode with all the things I know I know I'm not supposed to know. Mary Pickford's drinking problem, Betty Davis's affair with Willie Wyler, Norma's blue movie. Oh, this is... Norma made a blue movie. Did I say that out loud? See, I don't even know anymore. Well, uh, we've been friends for 20 years. What did you think? Well, I, I, I figured... You're artistic. You hate sports. You have that catty sense of humor. I just thought you were British. <laughs> Dear... Fabian, I don't get it. I was at two of your weddings. I gave you toasters. Did your wives know? Sweet Helen, never. Cleo suspected. Margaret and I used to fancy the same men. And women, as it turned out. Where did you get the energy? Don't tell me. Leah, I want you to look me straight in the eye and tell me you're okay about this. You're looking me in the ear. Fabian, we're friends for 20 years. I, I'm just going to think of it like you being in a religion I don't happen to believe in. <laughs> I'm Jewish, you're... Fabian. <laughs> I am happy to report my work was for naught. There is nothing naughty going on at Silver Screen Pictures. Oh. Before I give my report, why don't we join together in prayer? Reverend Sweeney, would you lead us? I... Let's join hands. But... Oh. <clears throat> dearly, <clears throat> dearly beloved, we are uh, gathered here today under God, uh, indivisible, with four score and seven apostles, and hallelujah. Oh. Amen. And amen to the report that things are starting to clean up in my dear old Hollywood. Uh, first, the lovely Loretta Young has had a swear box installed on the set, and any offenders had to contribute money that will go to charity. Good idea and good work, Loretta. And Joni Crawford settling down as her adoption papers are about to go through. Oh, that lucky little girl. She ought to keep a diary. What a fascinating life she'll have. And so many changes over at Silver Screen Pictures. Sadly, the marriage between Rachel Lipton and Danny Matthews is off, off, off. Boo-hoo! It seems this confirmed bachelor is leaving the movies and has opened up an interior decorating business. His first client, Mrs. Leo Silver, who's hired him to redo their boudoir as a harem from the Arabian Nights. How exciting. And last night, I turned on my filter and heard a newscast about Martians invading. Whip! Nearly flipped my fedora. Only later did I find out that the broadcast was The War of the Worlds, produced by that brilliant bully boy, Orson Welles, who's getting just a little too big for his britches. Orson, it's not nice. 
to mess around with the Tisha, not to mention all of America. And for now, it's Tata from Tinseltown. Love, Letitia.